I'm Aki Roberge, and I'm an astrophysicist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. Hi, I'm Nicole Lewis. I'm an assistant professor at Cornell University, and I'm an exoplanetary scientist. But the very first project that I ever did when I started graduate school was I uh, used data from the Hubble Space Telescope, and I checked my records, and that was uh, 1997. So I am definitely what you would call a Hubble hugger. Um, one of the astronomers who had uh, NASA's great observatories like Hubble around pretty much for their entire careers. So I've been working with the Hubble Space Telescope um, for almost a decade now, actually, um, using it to study exoplanet atmospheres. Uh, I think I first started working on W first about, let's see, it was about four, four or five years ago now. Um, and so I'm involved with one of the teams that is the science teams for the coronagraph instrument. So I've been working on W first now for uh, a little over four years. Um, I, I started back in about 2015. So we're, we're getting into the fifth year now um, when they started the science investigation teams. It's really important to understand that Hubble wasn't designed to study exoplanets at all. We didn't even know about them, that they existed when Hubble was designed and launched. Um, so the fact that we can study exoplanets with Hubble is pretty awesome. With Hubble, we're really looking at these planets that are on short period orbits um, that are sometimes called transiting exoplanets. Um, and often we're looking at light that's passing through these planets' atmospheres um, as they uh, pass in front of their host star. WFIRST, on the other hand, is an exoplanet discovery machine. It's the machine you'd use, like, like Kepler was, to like just find out that, hey, there's a planet around that star. Now with WFIRST, it's really going to leverage different methodologies to look at exoplanets, and it's going to look at planets that are much farther away from their host stars. Uh, it has two different methods. One is microlensing um, that will help us to complete the census of, of exoplanets in our galaxy. And the other is, will be enabled through the coronagraphic instrument, which will actually take images of planets that are you know, a little bit farther away from their stars compared with the ones that we use Hubble to study. What I've learned from working on Hubble is that, um, first of all, it's sort of expect the unexpected. and you can use a tool that was built for one thing. If it's, you know, a general purpose tool like NASA's great observatories were, you can use it for other things. Hubble was never designed to look at exoplanets. And so we always have to use it in a very creative way to do the science we want to do. Uh, WFIRST, of course, is getting designed to study exoplanets from the get-go, um, but I think we're still going to have to find creative ways uh, to use WFIRST to better understand exoplanets.